Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video where I'm going to be going and giving a more in-depth sort of view on stochastic dominance. And the goal here is to understand first order stochastic dominance and second order stochastic dominance through the CDF alone. Now, where I'm going and uh, getting inspiration to go and do this video is through a paper, right, written by Aaron Sinnett and John Mulley in the Journal of Medical Decision Making, right? And the name of the paper is right here. It's called Net Health Benefits, a new framework for analysis of uncertainty in cost effectiveness analysis. And they use a very simplified version of uh, stochastic dominance, but you know, it, it does the job here, right? So first looking at uh, first order stochastic dominance, right? We're gonna call that FOSD. We see that outcomes, right, under G of X, are more likely than f of x for any arbitrary outcome. What that goes and means, though, is that we're going to be systematically drawing higher outcomes, right, from f compared to that of g of x. And the reason why that's the case is because this whole area under f here, right, it has to go in sum up to one. Now, for second order stochastic dominance, right, which we have in our right hand side picture, what we have there is that the area under F is going to be smaller than that of G, even though these curves may go and cross. Practically speaking, what does that go and mean? It means that the outcomes under F, right, are more, uh, you know, likely there, right, compared to that of G there. So, so what does this mean practically? Really, this just means that for the risk adverse individual with a concave utility function, right, he's going to prefer the odds on f of x compared to that of g of x. Now, just, you know, another point here, for second order stochastic dominance, this can loop over many times and it can look very, very, very strange here uh, with regards to um, your results. But what this means, though, is that we're, we can go and we have the area of f being less than that of g of x. So this is our more in-depth understanding of stochastic dominance exclusively in the context of the CDF. I hope this video helps. Take care.